Hey guys, welcome to another video and today I'm going to be talking about 7 disgusting food additives that you might not even know you're eating. Honestly, even just doing the research for this video made me want to vomit. Hopefully you're not eating while you watch this because it's pretty gross. Now we all know that sometimes food labels aren't the most honest with us and they prefer to win us over with silly packaging or flashy commercials. So today I'm going to go through 7 common foods that you've probably eaten before in your life and let you know what's really hiding inside of them because the people who are making this food definitely aren't going to tell you. First off, we have sheep wool in your cereal. A lot of cereals are supplemented with vitamins and minerals, and vitamin D3 is very common. So there are two forms of vitamin D, vitamin D2 and vitamin D3. Vitamin D2 is vegetarian and vegan, and vitamin D3, the cheaper one and the one in most of your cereals, I'm looking at you, Kellogg's, and General Mills, is not in the slightest. Vitamin D3 is derived from lanolin, which is a compound found in sheep's wool. They remove this product from the sheep's wool and put it in your lovely breakfast cereal. If you've ever been disgusted about finding a hair in your food, well guess what? You've been eating hair from sheep for almost all of your life. And also, the most ridiculous fact is that you can get all of the vitamin D you need just from walking outside for about 10 to 15 minutes a day with your legs and arms exposed. And if you live in a colder or shadier environment where this is not as possible, you can still take vitamin D2 supplements and you don't have to worry about having fuzz in your mouth. Number two is calf stomach in your cheese. Rennet is an enzyme that is used to help cheese get thicker and creamier faster. However, it is also derived from the ground up stomachs of baby cows. Now this is not used in most commercial cheeses in the United States as it's a more traditional and a little more expensive method of cheese making. However, it's still prevalent in a lot of artisanal cheeses and it is more prevalent in Europe as well. Number three is boiled skin in your marshmallow and also in your fruit snacks, your jello shots, and some of your cream cheese. Gelatin is also used to make things more gelatinous or hold together more and it's made by boiling animal skin, animal tendons, and animal bones in water. These products are usually from cows or pigs because all that extra stuff that you can't sell to the meat industry has to go somewhere, right? There are vegetarian and vegan substitutes for gelatin. Agar agar is a coagulant that can be used. And personally, I think if you ask most people on the street if they'd rather have a plant or animal skin in their jello, they would probably respond with a plant. And for number four, we have ground bugs in your red wine, red velvet cake mix, colored yogurts, makeup products, and anything that's red. I may be pronouncing this wrong, but it's there's a cochineal bug. It's also known as carmine. It is not a beetle, as most people are led to believe. But either way, it is ground up, and it gives your food that lovely red color. Now, it's not the red food coloring in everything. Red 40 is completely okay but either way, it's still pretty gross. So for number five, I find that this one is the most interesting, but it is also the most revolting, and it is beaver anus in your ice cream. Yum. So technically it is not beaver butthole, it is the glands that are around the beaver's butthole that are secreting what is in your ice cream. Now, I will say that the majority of ice cream does not have this in it. However, it still does exist in some ice creams. So to me, that is still completely disgusting and you've probably eaten a lot of ice cream in your life, so you've probably eaten this before. And this secretion is known as castorium. And ironically, when it's processed, it actually has a very sweet and attractive smell to it. So companies will include it as a natural flavoring. That's literally what it says on the package, natural flavoring in your ice cream and maybe in other sweets as well. And for number six, we have fish bladder in your beer. So the fish bladders are dried and they're known as isinglass and it's used to clarify beer, AKA make it more clear. Fish bladder is also used in a lot of white wines. So in general, if you drink alcohol, I suggest you check barnivore.com. They have a list of vegan and vegetarian alcoholic beverages so you can still drink without feeling revolted by what you're drinking. For example, Guinness has been using this with their beer for a very long time, but the good news is they're going vegan sometime this year so you won't have to worry about it anymore. So props to them. I'm not sure. Actually, this might be the most disgusting. So number seven, we have human hair in your bread. Now I feel like people are going to believe me the least on this one, but 
It's an enzyme called L-cysteine and it's used to speed up the manufacturing process in making bread. But don't worry guys, McDonald's has confirmed there is no human hair in your Big Mac bones, but there are duck feathers, which can be used as well. And that sums up my disgusting food additives roundup. If you were surprised by any of these, let me know in the comments below. I think it'd be interesting to see which ones people knew the least about. And also share this with your family and friends so they can eliminate the disgusting foods from their diet. Even though my channel is mostly about veganism, I wanted to make this video because I think a lot of people roll their eyes or shrug it off when vegans say that the meat and dairy and egg industries are lying to them. But based off of this information, is that really that hard to believe? I found all this information online, so yeah, it's out there, but I don't really see any package labels being like, oh, we have human hair in our bread or beaver anus flavor vanilla ice cream. I'm pretty sure the food industry does not want you to know about these ingredients because if you actually knew the truth, you would probably stop buying their products. So hopefully this video inspired you to be more conscious about the food choices you're making and to realize that not everything is always what it seems. Alright, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!